ray optics also known as geometrical optics is the study of simple properties of light and optical instruments by assuming that light travels in a straight line in ray optics we will study the image formed by mirror and lenses the main difference between reflection and refraction is that reflection occurs in mirrors while refraction occurs in lenses even though refraction occurs in mirrors too we won't consider it for convenience number of different images formed by mirrors and lenses plane mirror forms one image concave mirror forms six images and convex mirror forms two images while the vice versa for lenses technologies that you need to know before going through pole the center point of the mirror through which the principal axis passes through principal axis the straight line that passes through the pole and center of curvature is called principal axis center of curvature center of the sphere in of which mirror or lens is a part of is called center of curvature radius of curvature radius of sphere of which the mirror or lens is a part is called radius of curvature focal point or focus it is a point at which all rays meet to get a sh- sharp image focal length the distance from the pole to the focal point is called focal length mirrors laws of reflection contain two laws the first one being the incident ray the reflected ray and the normal ray all lie on the same plane the second law being angle of incidence will be equal to the angle of reflection plane mirror for a plane mirror the image formed will be of the same distance as the object from the mirror the image obtained will be virtually erect and laterally inverted the size of the image is the same as the size of the object concave mirror for a concave mirror an object positioned at infinity will form an image at principal focus and the nature of image will be real inverted and extremely diminished and when an object placed beyond center of curvature the image formed will be between center of curvature and focus and the nature of image will be real inverted and diminished object positioned at the center of curvature will form an image at center of curvature and nature of image will be real inverted and of the same size when the object is positioned between focus and center of curvature the image will be formed beyond center of curvature and nature of image will be real inverted enlarged image an object positioned at the principal axis will form an image at infinity and the nature of image will be extremely magnified an object positioned between pole and the principal axis will form an image behind the mirror and the nature of image will be virtually erect and magnified convex mirror for a convex mirror an object positioned at infinity will form an image at principal focus and the nature of image will be virtually erect and extremely diminished and when an object placed between infinity and pole the image will appear at between focus and the pole and the nature of image will be virtual erect and diminished lenses laws of refraction contain two laws the first one being incident ray refracted ray and the normal ray all lie on the same plane the second law being snell's law snell's law states that for a given pair of media and for the light of a given wavelength the ratio of sine of the angle of incidence to the sine of angle of refraction is always a constant concave lens for a concave lens when the object is at infinity the image will form at principal focus on the same side as the object nature of the image will be virtual and erect and extremely diminished and when the object is between infinity and the pole the image formed will appear between focus and the pole the nature of the image will be virtual erect and diminished convex lens for a convex lens an object positioned at infinity will form an image at focus and the nature of the image will be real inverted and extremely diminished an object positioned beyond the second focus will form an image between focus and the second focus 
and the nature of image will be real inverted and diminished an object positioned at second focus will form an image at second focus and the nature of image will be real inverted size of the image and the object is same an object positioned between focus and second focus will give form an image bit beyond second focus and the nature of image will be real inverted and bigger than the object an object at the principal focus will form an image at infinity and the nature of image will be real inverted and extremely magnified an object placed between the optical center and principal focus will form image at same side as the object and the nature of image will be virtual direct and magnified summary of this video reflection occurs in mirror which the reflection occurs in lens plane mirror forms one image concave mirror forms six and convex forms two concave lens forms two images while convex lens forms six there are two laws of reflection and two laws of refraction i hope you like this video thanks for watching